What's going on? It's Custer 11 back. Tag of thir 14, sorry. And we're going to continue our career. We got one more round to go. If we pull this tournament off, we should be boosted right to the PGA Tour. We're still on the web.com tour. Um, and I actually... Oh shit, sorry. I forgot I leveled last time I played, but I didn't put my guy up. There you go. Okay. We're at level 89 right now. That's nice. A couple more rounds, probably two more rounds. I should be up to 90. So let's get right into this, though. Sorry about that. New York Open. We got one round left. We had a pretty good front nine to eight under. The wind was pretty calm, though. Well, actually, it was a little. It wasn't really quite calm. Now it's calm here. It's saying it's calm. That don't mean shit. Uh, because they said that before. Rich Beam's four under. I'm eight under. So I got a four shot lead going in. So let's hold them off. And move on to the PGA Tour. That's what I'm looking for. Get out of this web.com bullshit. I'm actually going to have a little lunch while I play this, so I apologize if that annoys people. Hopefully you don't hear me chewing too much. EA Sports is proud to present the closing right. round coverage of this web.com. Let's just get there. See the wind? Event. It's calm, huh? Look at this that. Year Trees the are blowing. The of the 95th PGA Championship, and this backdrop is just a perfect setting to welcome the world's greatest players. Yeah, that wind is kicking. Look at that thing up there. Calm my ass. I guess, I wonder, because I put on live weather, I wonder if that matters anymore, if it isn't actually... Doesn't matter what it says. If it says it's calm, if that even matters, I don't know. I'm trying to put spin on the ball. I just played in one of the tournaments on pro, and I'll be using spin. I forgot I don't have well, spin on this. Um, I put up a four-round tournament starting today at 4 p.m. Central at Torrey Pines. Four day. I put that on tour pro difficulty. Um. Looks to be a nine. I was, I was here. thinking about doing the four round tournaments on Tour Pro maybe. And the ones on Pro. Let me know how the difficulty is. It's pretty easy, I mean, on Pro for the most part. If you want see so let's see if we want to up that or what. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And uh I also put a couple one round tournaments up, so I think the big difference with Tor Pro, if I remember right, is you don't have putt preview, the green, but and you can't spin away. the ball. But I think you still get the. Well, you need to be I think a you still get the. It's a long putt and uh, easy to knock it past. Um, swing meter and all that stuff. So. Shouldn't be that big of a difference. I mean, it's going to be a little bit. And this putt of a difference. Birdie. Come on, baby. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was pretty good right there. This for I can't believe I missed that putt. I thought that was in. It looked good. All right. Um, what else did I say? So I started a couple of one round tournaments. I actually set them up. Fantastic. Let's hope it stays this way. I think I set one round tournaments up till Sunday. I think somebody asked <clears throat> somebody asked me when the tournaments end. When I I think they go 24 hours. It, originally, I wasn't quite sure because it kind of said six like four hours left or six hours left. But when I went logged on today for the I played the St Andrews one today, and I um made it yesterday. You know at 4 p.m. Nice kick. So that shot started out bad, but caught a player's bounce and looks. And good. online, it was basically saying we have until 4 p.m. to play, finish that one off. So I think you get 24 hours. Somebody was asking about that. They were thinking about joining, but they can't play that late at night. I think you could still shouldn't have a problem playing the tournaments. I think you can play them any time within that day, that one 24-hour period. Um, pretty sure. So come on and join in. We got 35 members right now, which is pretty cool. Um, I think last year you could only have 25 total. 
So having 35 already, I'm excited about that. And only eight feet remaining for birdie. And I think you can have up to a hundred this year, which is a lot. Um, I don't know if we'll get that far, but see if we can keep getting some guys in. Scales' army, join up. I'll be doing as many tournaments get every, as I can. He has this for birdie. A beautiful nice roll putt. And in the cup. I'm good at those right to lefts, pretty much. Pretty good at them. Let's go back to the leaderboard. All right, we're we're doing pretty good here, I think. We got a six shot lead. These guys aren't going to do much damage in this web.com tour, I don't think. The par threes on this course, if I remember right, are a bitch. So that's at least a 20 mile an hour wind, I would say. I'm going to assume that to start with, and let's work it from there. Probably is more actually. It looks like it's even more. I think it is. Yeah. It's like a 30 mile an hour wind in your face. That was a little uphill, but it wasn't like crazy uphill. Oof. The best in the game know how to play that shot just like that. This is actually going to be a tough putt because it's downhill, left or right break. Those are the worst putts He's for me, for usually. Got Way it. to knock it in. Here's a view of last week's tournament. Yep. Alright, our first part five, but we're into this win pretty tough. Well, that's out there, uh, that's out there a good distance. Nice shot. This is a three shot hole with this wind. David, what's the situation? I'm thinking about 90 yards. Okay, here's the situation. So this is far enough, I think, for that wind to do some damage to it. You get close enough to the hole, when's that really going to affect the shot that much? But from 90 yards out. It's not going to affect it at the 30. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much right where I wanted it. What it's not going to affect the 30 mile an hour, like or 30 yards, stick. 25 yards of your shop. It's going to affect probably a good 10 or so. I would say that's kind of what I did there. And this one is for birdie. Nice. A beautiful roll there. That is fine to hold. If I could get myself a right to left putt like that every time, I'd be good to go. If you want to be on the short list for most greens hit, well, you got to top these guys. Damn, I got 15 greens. That's pretty damn good. Let's drill one of these trees. Just to, just off them. Oh, terrific swing. This is just crushed down the fairway. And now, on the par four, this is the approach shot. That tree's going to fall over. Sit, no, or not sit, well, whatever. Do something different. That's what I wanted. Didn't work out quite as I hoped. Ah, 
I love putting off the fringe, but it's tough on this difficulty because you can't really see the putt that well. It's uphill. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Go in. Oh, okay. right, I'll take that. Perfect until he hit it. Well, I wasn't really expecting to make that putt, but that's probably better than a chip. My chipping has been eh, suspect. This putt this year. Part. To say the least. Go for X. Somebody asked me if I'm going to, to say who. Um, I just played around with Rex this morning. Actually, just a simultaneous online golf. We had a good match, man. We played at Louisiana. Um, I think I beat him by a couple strokes only, but it was like 50 shot in the mid 50s. Uh, I'm pro. It was pretty. It was a good ass match. So it was a lot of fun. Oh no. Oh no. Motherfucker. Wow. I was getting excited about talking about I mean, Rex is in my match apparently and I didn't know and understand what I was doing. Holy shit. It was terrible. I didn't play nearly enough wind on that. Alright. Now we gotta do something special well, here. here. Get up. Man, that was terrible. Terrible, man. Wow, this is... Wow, this is bad news. For bogey. Big time. This is for bogey. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I doubled. Oh, a firmer, that wow. Wow. A double bogey to drop two shots. I haven't double bogeyed much. That hurts. We're right back to where we started. Man, I just wasn't paying attention on that fucking shot. I didn't even think, I didn't even realize there's water there. I normally play a little away from the water as Beautiful. much as I can. Lovely straight lines in that swing, solid impact, and that's nicely in the fairway. Ah, what a terrible fucking hole. Sorry, let's make up for it. By hitting the tree. Wow. Here's how we stand at this point in the round. Holy sh shit. Sixty degree wedge. He is playing some spectacular golf. God, that was huge that I put that anywhere near the hole because this one to maintain the position. Yes. If I doubled and then bogeyed again, I would have probably been too emotionally wrecked to continue. Here's a look at how I would have been pissed, that's for sure. Playing today for the rest of the field. <sighs> All right, let's get your head out of your ass, Scalzetti. Out of your ass. Par four. After Oof. a fortuitous bounce, this one's yeah, that was fairway. fortuitous. One hundred and thirty yards left. 
win with me. I'm always bad at these, but we got a big hill too. Standard law for a sand wedge, 56 degrees. On Sit. the green, solidly struck, about 15 feet out. Turn, and turn! Sinks yes. the puck for birdie. The leaderboard getting a little more interesting by the moment. Man, that double bogey just screams at me when I look at it. Two big squares around my number. <clears throat> Tway's making a run, but he's on 18 right now, so. Now this hole, you can hit that tree out there. I have done it. You can hit that. Oh, I you got me close to it last round. Those branches are hanging way over, so. Not this first tree, but that second tree right there. You can hit those, and if you hit those branches, you're fucked. Because the whole dog leg's to the right, so you're pretty much hitting right through the woods. If it was, you know, dog leg and left or something would be a problem, but the way the hole's set up, hitting that tree is a bad thing. Yeah, we're uphill big time, too. I need another club. Okay, Jim, this is five. That's where you have to put it on this green to make birdie. Damn, he's a fucking below feet. This Left to right breaks downhill. <laughs> ah, I was right there. And to avoid dropping a shot. All right. And here's an update on that scorecard. One under front. Double bogey screaming at me. I'm ha it's not bad, though. I'm not going to kill this drive because of that water. Even though I could have definitely hit it a lot harder. A I'm nervous. Not and exactly Derek sure how far I was. This hole by considerably more than 300 yards. Okay, 126. Up, it's uphill with the wind. wind. It's definitely got enough to affect the shot. And let's far see enough. what happens with the sand wedge. That might be long. It's a little long. It's actually even pretty good. I just didn't play enough wind. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, a long way for the ball to travel here. Basically saying this is a straight putt. For birdie. Oh! Point zero one. This shouldn't be a problem. Made it break that much. A nice par to remain one under. Fuck. Should always play Let's at the edge of the, the cup, progress, I guess. The golfers have made thus far. Still was gonna go in if I played the edge of a cup. It would just outside the edge, it would have went in. Two twenty six par three. If I remember right, the par threes on this back are tough, man. They're long. And we're hitting right into this wind. I don't think that three was going to make it. That's 21 yards. This wind is playing. At least this is like a 25 mile an hour wind. But I can't really hit the driver. Well, I can knock it down to... I just hit a regular drive without power. It might work. 
a little bit of red, which is fine. Let's see how that works. That might be good, because that might check up. Oh, that checked yeah, that up a little more than I thought. Lovely shot. That's a good ball, though. I'll take that. A lot of in-between club stuff going on there. Actually, it wasn't in-between the club, because it was actually just a regular old driver. But everything in this game, you basically play with extra. The birdie. You know, you're swinging the red all the time, so you feel that's a normal shot. It's not actually your normal shot. It's your power shot. Turn. That's God. one you'd like to have over. Yeah, I would like to have it over, Jim. But great action on that putt for par to stay one under. This is a mirror image of last tournament. Where I shot eight under and then two under. No, we one under now, but I can't see myself completely blowing up and going crazy out here. With this back nine. So I'm looking probably at a 2-3 under, hopefully. That'd be enough to win it. That's all that really matters. That's a fine tee shot there, Jim. That is a hell of a tee shot. Jim. These little wedges have been giving me up problems. And the wedges gave me problems the last season, too. Last year's game. These little in-between wedges. That's a good one right there, though. I'll take that. Go in. That's a great Ooh, that's shot. a good one. Landing close to the flagstick. I tended the to hit him really short below. last year. A lot. Three feet from the hole. So that right there is very... Yes, a little Tweety bird. Very nice. Good birdie. That's an easy ass hole. When at your back? Shit. Hey, 60 yards in on the second shot. These are the players who lead the pack when it comes to putting average. Tied for fifth. Putting. I'll take that. There's a creek out there, but I don't think we can reach it, especially with this wind. Blowing in our face. I don't know, is it me? Does it seem like every par 5 you play in this damn game has wind in your face? Instead of with you. I'll have most of the time. How about a look at the best of the best when it comes to this stat? Alright, so 95, there's going to be some wind effect in here. At least. The wedges is not as pronounced. We are uphill though. Shit, we are uphill 13 feet. Ooh, stop, stop. They landed around pin high. What nice. That's huge. Alright, we're distancing ourselves from this field pretty good here now. Look at that, they don't even show double bogeys as something to show for your round performance. I don't, I don't have any bogeys. Nope, I got a double bogey, but I got no bogeys. Sit, sit, sit. That's the way to stand oh. up and hit it. I wanted to be right in the fairway there. I'm right on the first cut. Oh, no, it's still fairway. Nice. I want to keep my fairways going. All right, so we're uphill, so we hit a little harder, but not too much. It's pretty short. i got to talk myself through some of these wedge shots. Like I said, I've been having trouble with them. It should be right, you know, right by the hole on most of them. 
This will be the lob wedge or 60 degree. That's what I'm talking well, about. I'll take that close, all day long uphill putt. Just a little outside the comfort zone here for a tap in, but he should be able to make this. If you don't make it, go up and make sure you have an uphill putt. Count that to go to 12 under par for the tournament. Now we got the train going. Check out now the action at 15 for all tournament scores. Wow, look at this hole. Part, see, these par threes are tough. 13 bogeys, one birdie. They're all like that. So we're downhill, but that wind is really kicking. And the trusty five iron from here. What a nice. fabulous shot. That is how you do it. Below feet. It's uphill. But it is below feet. Quite a bit, actually. And nice. One drops for a birdie. <sighs> I'm getting this putt simulation putting down, I think. For the most part. Took me a took me a while, man. I played a lot of golf the first um, the very beginning of the you know I got this game to try to practice it. It was tough. I was actually upset that I started making my videos like it because I can't go back. You don't want you to go. I'm like, man, this is this is fucking hard, man. I don't want to play like this, but I stuck with it. I'm looking pretty good. But I can't put a video up on simulation and then put and then freaking cheese out and puss out and go back to something. Swing. The ball is on the fairway. So if you try to play like this, just stick with it. We're looking at about 125 it. yards to this flagstick, Jim. It is tough to start with. It's just it's just tough. Get up. Get up. Get up. Very nicely played. And that'll be a chance to pick one up. Too much that time. A good stroke that came up empty. Played right into the sweet spot. So anyway, someone asked me if I was going to post who's winning tournaments or talk about it. Um, I went to the website. I it's I can't really see where there's a leaderboard anywhere. I, I got to try to figure that out. You can see it after you're done. But, you know, I was done earlier. I don't know if anybody's going to beat our score. Yeah, I played at like maybe, you know, 11 or something. So it still has six hours left or five hours left. But as of around that time, Golfer X and me both shot 11 under at St. Andrews tournament. He put the ball right at the fairway. So we basically are tied for the lead. And there's about seven other guys who golfed in that tournament. Um, I think there was a 10 under. Now, see, I should have wrote it down or something. I can't remember who it was now. I apologize. That was a tough little tournament for pro, though. I mean, it was a uh, that course with a lot of wind. I put the wind up to like gusty or something or whatever it was, more than normal, and it played. It showed it. All right, so we're going for two here with the driver. And that is looking pretty. And it now went way too hard. Now wow. Like, like rolled all the way the through. Leaderboard. Where are we at here? We're in some nasty. Sit. Damn it. Go for it. That's what could happen if you go try to make it. 
give yourself a tough putt coming back. Oh my god. Might go in, but it's not the case. Probably because it was uphill. I had oh my god, part of that hole. I had one that was point zero one earlier, and I didn't play a lot of break, and it actually broke off the cup. On that first page of the leaderboard. So that time I played it a little just on the a little off the cup, thinking it would come back, and it never did. I can't remember if the other one was probably downhill though, meaning it's going to actually it's going to break more than an uphill putt. So, oh well. Here's the stat that to me always tells the story. The top players in fairways hit. Looks like it's a little in our face. Not much though. But it should do a little damage to it. Yeah, it did more. Yeah, that was a poor, that was a poor shot. Uh, that was just bad. Sit, sit. Damn it. Shot. It's perfectly online. Those are, that's what I keep doing on those chips. I just go a little too far. I need to play short, I guess. Shorter, but sometimes I think of playing shorter and then I end up hitting it way too short, so. He has this, a this tough attempt putt. for par. Nice. That seals the deal for the win and caps off an amazing effort. Ah, <sighs> got the par. Good way to end it. I didn't even realize I was 18. I was just kind of in the groove there for a while there. Four in a row. They're on the birdies in the back. Nice 13 under. Kick to your ass. For our entire EA sports team. Never leave home without it. What is that? So long and we'll see you next week. Earn your tour card. Sweet baby! Oh, that's huge. I didn't get a level, I don't think, yet. Because I think I need four grand something. I got 3,400. So one more, and I'll get level 90. Which is sweet as well. I don't know what the cap is. I'm assuming 100, because I think you can get... Or 95. I think the highest item I've seen was 95, I think. Could be wrong about that. So let's see what happens. Does anything great happen? Oh, look at that. Battlefield promotion. Yes, I'm a warrior. A golfing warrior. You have reached the PGA Tour. Compete against famous professional golfers at the toughest events you'll encounter in your career. I'll see if you're able to take to be a multiple major champion. Complete any of these objectives to advance. Qualify for the Masters by placing in the top 50 of the EA Sports Golf Rankings. Win a major. I could do that. I think. All right, we're ranked 231. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I am pretty excited. We're actually in the tour. We're where we should have been in the beginning. I just saw this. Oh, I gotta put. Ooh. Err. All right. I gotta mess with all that stuff later. We're gonna end here. I'm probably gonna do. I wanted to see what. You know what? Let's just do it now. Oh, I oh I I can't do it now. All right, I'll go back in and do it. So we start at Shishan, which is I believe a historic edition um, gets that course. Oh, look at this! See, that's what I'm talking about right here. Oh, we got East Lake to end it. So when's our first major? 
Can we get to the Masters? Or do we have to do this bullshit? The Champions Cup. Is red. Rank in the top 50. Win one major. I can't win a major yet because it's the first one. God, I hope they don't make you skip the fucking Masters in the first season. That would piss me off. Rank in the top 50. I don't know if we can rank in the top 50 by then. Rank in the top 100. So we can probably get the players for sure. Top 60. Win one major for the Open. The British. Top 50. Win one major. And then we start down here with the FedEx stuff. Uh, this is where he starts telling me, you cannot compete unless you purchase this course. Fuck. It's like 40 bucks for that 14 course pack, man. It's craziness. Scottsdale we don't have. Beth Page we don't have. Alright, whatever. I work on all this. Think about what I'm going to do here. Last year when I went to a, got to a course I needed to buy, I just bought the course right before the tournament. I didn't buy the whole pack. I don't know if I'm going to do the back pack this year, but regardless, we're done here. That was a good tournament. We're in a we're in the tour. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll uh, start Shishan coming up soon. I'll uh, probably do the same thing. I'm doing two round normal tournaments, four round majors, and maybe maybe the FedEx stuff. I'll I'll do four rounds, but we'll see how I feel at the time. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to play some of the Country Club courses. And if you haven't joined and you like these vids, join Scouse's Army. We got 35 guys. We're slowly building up, and uh, it's been it's been fun. So see you later.